Do you struggle from mental health or sometimes just have the blues or things just get too much? Things are just too much for you and you need a break. Well, today we're going to look at yoga, 20 minutes yoga exercise for mental health. Hi, I'm Al from yogangagia.com and I'm a certified yoga instructor and today we're going to look at 20 minutes uh, yoga exercises for mental health and you need to be able to sit on the floor to do the following exercises. If you can't sit on the floor, it's okay. I have a playlist called Chair Yoga. Please go and see that playlist and some wonderful exercises, yoga exercises on a chair. So for today, we start off on the mat and we're going to lie down on our back. So get yourself ready. And today, I want you to specifically focus on the awareness of your breath. And I also want you to try and synchronize your movement as much as you can with your breath. Okay, so come onto your back in Shavasana. So your back is straight. Your arms are away from your body. The palms are facing up. Your legs are separated and the feet flop out to the sides and they are relaxed. And your nose point to the ceiling and you softly close your eyes. This is Shavasana. During Shavasana, there is no movement. And bring all your awareness to your body and make yourself as comfortable as you can. This is a resting pose. And from here, I want you to bring all your awareness all your attention to your breath, the natural breath. Do not change your breathing. Your breathing is natural and automatic. You are not doing it. Just become aware that you are breathing. You might become aware that your whole body is still and maybe you come and see that your belly is moving, the abdomen might be slightly moving because of your breathing. So all your awareness on that slight movement in the tummy or the chest or both. If your mind wanders and you start thinking of other things, or you start having a conversation in your head, it's okay as soon as you are aware that you are doing it. Just bring your attention back to your breath. On your next inhalation, we're going to start with abdominal breathing. Here, you're going to use a little bit of effort and you're going to inhale through the nostrils, a long, slow, controlled breath, all the way down to your belly. And your belly is going to rise, the, your navel is going to rise up to the sky. And as you exhale through the nostrils, again, long, slow, controlled breath, you will feel your navel falls down to your spine and you can even suck it in a tiny bit as you exhale. And inhale again, all the way down to the tummy and the tummy rises up. And exhale down. So there's a little bit of effort involved in the breathing to control it, but your rib cage and your collarbone stay still. It's 
only the tummy that's moving. And we continue with abdominal breathing through the nostrils. On your next exhalation, you let go of the abdominal breathing and you return back to the natural breath where there is no effort, you're only observing the natural breath. Very good. Now try to remember to place all your awareness on your breath and movement throughout the practice. Become aware of your body, your body lying on the floor. And bring your awareness now to sounds you hear. And your awareness to the space you are in. And start making small movements with your fingers and toes and your whole body. Stretch yourself if you need to. And take a deep breath in through the nostrils. And deliberately sigh out through your mouth. And softly blink open your eyes. You can sigh out again. Sighing out is great for releasing tension in the body. Very good. And from here, I want you to bring your legs together and your arms next to the body. And as you inhale, bring your arms up above your head on the floor. Point your toes, point your fingers, stretch out of your rib cage. And as you exhale, take your arms and your legs to the left. Shoulder stays on the floor, legs go to the left and the arms go to the left and we bend the spine and we are making a banana shape on the floor and you'll feel the stretch out of your right hip and right ribs and we stay here inhale come to the center point the toes point the fingers again straighten out your spine and exhale take the arms to the right and the legs to the right and we bend the other way making a banana shape and we hold it here and we just breathe naturally and all your awareness is on the stretch and your breath nothing else And inhale, bring your arms and your legs back to the center and point the toes and point the fingers and stretch out of the ribcage. And as you exhale, let go. And slide your feet on the mat and bring your knees into the chest and take your arms at the same time over and squeeze your knees into the chest. Very good. And on an exhale, let go. And we're going to do leg lock pose. 
always start on the right hand side as we are going to press into the lower abdomen and that's the ascending colon and on the left side is the descending colon and we want to move our in massage our uh, excuse me massage our intestines in such a way so that if we have anything any stool or anything that we need to release or any gas that it moves in the right direction and that we want it to move out and we don't want to push it back in <laughs> so on the right leg the left leg stays straight and stays flat on the floor and inhale synchronizing your movement with your breath bring the right knee in take your arms around the knee and squeeze it into the chest don't let the left leg lift keep it as flat as you can and when you're ready to exhale we use our core and you exhale and not the neck muscles but the core and you bring your head up as close to the knee as you can and inhale head down and exhale release the right leg slide it down we're gonna do four more inhale bring the right knee up exhale crunch the tummy and inhale head back down and exhale straighten out following your breath only breathing through the nostrils if your nostrils are blocked you've got sinuses then obviously you don't have a choice but breathing through the mouth but otherwise we always breathe through the nostrils very good and the last one inhale exhale inhale exhale all your awareness put must be with what you are doing right here right now and the left side the left knee comes up inhale the right leg stays flat on the floor as when you're ready to exhale crunch the tummy bring the head up and inhale back down exhale straighten out and we're gonna do four more inhale bring the leg up exhale use your tummy inhale head down exhale straighten out we're massaging the colon and one more and the liver loosening up the knees the hips the lower back very good this is ve very good for digestion as well and now the legs together and we slide the legs together up inhale wrap your arms around squeeze and exhale bring the head up and inhale head down and exhale let go of the legs if five is too much for you then you only do three synchronizing the breath excuse me synchronizing your movement with the breath and one more
Very good. Take a deep breath through your nostrils and deliberately sigh out through your mouth. And again. And bend your knees and bring them into the chest again and take your hands and get hold of each knee separately and use your tummy muscles and we start rocking side to side just breathing naturally massaging the lower back you can go all the way down onto the arm and then use your elbow and your tummy muscles to push yourself up, back up. And if you bring the knees really close to the chest and you rock, then the massage will be higher up on your back. And if you take your knees further away, You'll feel the massage is more on the lower part of the back and the buttocks and the sides of the buttocks. So find the spot that you want. If you're doing this on a very soft floor, then it will be a soft massage. If you want a stronger massage, you can go straight onto the hard floor or just protect it with a thin mat like the yoga mat and we come to the center and we release the knees down and we're gonna go and roll over so straighten your legs and slowly roll over onto your tummy Very good. And bring your legs hip width apart. The feet are relaxed. The buttocks is relaxed. And prepare yourself for baby cobra. The elbows comes under the shoulders. Hands are flat. Fingers pointing forward. And we look up. Belly button is to the floor. And we look up and the shoulders are down so the shoulders are not scrunched up like this we rise the neck out of the shoulders and we look up and as you inhale pretend you're breathing from the bottom of the spine all the way up to the neck and as you exhale pretend the breath moves from the top of the neck down the spine to the buttocks. Inhale up and exhale down. Hold it here. When you had enough, exhale by looking straight ahead and at the same time slide your arms forward and slowly come down with your head last and place the forehead on the floor. And we are in Advasana, realigning your spine and try if you can to relax the legs, the arms the back and the neck All your awareness on the natural breath. And inhale, slowly lift your head. 
we are going to do plank now so if planking is too strong for you then just leave it out why I'm doing the plank is because it is good to tire out your body if you don't do any exercise um, it would be good if you can every day tire out your body just a little bit it really really helps with stress relief so for the plank bling, br bring your elbows under your shoulders okay you can grab hold of your elbows and then bring them here then you are sure they're under your shoulders and then you can go onto your knees if it's too difficult for you you can just go onto the knees and plank here just make sure not to hang if you hang your lower back will start to hurt so just make sure that your hips and your shoulders are in line with each other and we suck the tummy in so we make a hollow body so we're not poking the bum out but rather round and tuck the tailbone in if this is too easy for you then you go on the toes and it's the same thing you don't want to hang your lower back will uh, pull and you will hurt your lower back so rather bring the buttocks in line with the shoulders and we hold it here and again hollow body tuck the bum is not out it is rather tucked in so your tummy navel is sucked in when you had enough come down otherwise just try your best And then you can hold it for longer if you want to, otherwise bring the knees down and slowly come down onto the tummy and stretch your arms back to the front and the forehead on the floor. So we're going in Advasana, straightening out the spine. Take a deep breath in and deliberately sigh it out through your mouth and again and as you sigh out consciously relax your whole body and inhale lift your head and bring your hands uh, next to your chest and we're going to press into the knees and the hands and try not to peel off the floor but rather try and do your best and we lift in a straight line or as best as you can and we come up okay we come into box pose with the knees under the hips the wrists under the shoulders and we're going to do cat stretch as you inhale you lower your belly to the floor and you lift your head up make sure before you start not to hang in between the shoulder blades but rise out of the shoulder blades so it's inhale tummy to the floor bum up in the air and the head up pause for a second and as you exhale we're going the other way so chin to chest round the back and look in between the legs suck the tummy in and inhale look up and exhale round the other way following your breath and two more
And when you have completed your five rounds, then you come into neutral spine. And from here, we're gonna go into extended child's pose. So you bring your knees together, the toes together, open your heels so the buttocks comes down in between the heels and the arms stretch into the front and you bring your head down as low as you can. Now, it's more important to keep your buttocks as close to the feet as you can. If your head's up here, that's fine. Don't lift the bum and bring the head down to the floor. Rather keep the buttocks as close to the heels and make a fist or even two fists and bring your forehead down on the fists. Otherwise, if you can reach the floor, stretch the arms in front and relax here. Extended child's pose. And when you're ready to come up, slowly come up into Vajrasana with your head coming up last. And take a deep breath in and deliberately sigh it out through your mouth. Very good. And we come back for another plank. So again, if you, this is too strong for you, rather leave it, but bring your elbows under the shoulders, hands together, on the knees or the toes, and we go up. Come down when you had enough and go into Advasana with your forehead on the floor. And if you can hold it longer, hold it longer. Otherwise, bring the knees down and slowly come down into Advasana. Arms straight, forehead on the floor and consciously really relax your buttocks and legs and arms. You can close your eyes if you want to. All your awareness is on the natural breath. And inhale, lift your head. And slowly roll over onto your back and prepare yourself for universal spinal twist. So your spine is straight, your legs are together and you bring your arms shoulder height with the palms facing down onto the floor and we bend the left knee, place the sole of the left foot next to the right knee. 
We press into that foot, lift your pelvis from the floor, swivel and place the right side of the pelvis on the floor, bringing the knee to the floor. And then you look to the left hand, make sure that your shoulders and shoulder blades are flushed with the floor so they must not lift on both sides so and we hold it here And inhale, look back to the ceiling and exhale, roll back onto your back and straighten yourself out. And we're going to do the other side. So bend the right knee, press the right foot on the floor next to the left knee. Press into that foot to lift your buttocks, swivel, take that knee. You can hook the right toes behind the left knee and we look to the right hand if your neck doesn't want to if it hurts then just keep looking at the ceiling shoulders and shoulder blades flat on the floor And when you're ready, inhale, look at the ceiling and exhale, roll back and straighten yourself out. Very good. And bring your knees into the chest, take your arms and wrap them around and squeeze them in. And exhale, straighten out and come onto your side and use your top hand and press and slowly come into a sitting position, any sitting position that's comfortable for you. Okay, we're going to do alternative nostril breathing. I've selected this breath work for this video because it, excuse me, balance your right hemisphere with your left hemisphere of your brain and it calms your mind too. And you can do this anyway, it's very simple. You take your middle finger and index finger and you rest them on your forehead. You use your thumb to close your right nostril and you use your ring finger to close your left nostril. Just make sure when you do this, you don't close in the chest, try and keep it open but relaxed because we are working with the breath. And remember, the breath and the heart goes together. That's why you'll see when you have stress or you get an anxiety, anxiety attack, your heartbeat goes up, your breathing goes faster, and the two always works together. And your adrenal, adrenals get pumped and your fight and flight reaction. So the heart, we need to calm the heart. So if we calm the breath, we bring the heart down, we calm the heart. So that's why breath work is so, so powerful. Okay, so back to our exercise. So middle finger and uh, index finger on the forehead. And you always start on the left side and we're going to control the breath. So there's, there's deliberate breathing. So there's a little bit of effort and you're going to close the right nostril with your thumb and you're going to inhale on the left. And when you're ready to exhale, you close the left and you exhale on the right. And then when you're ready to inhale, you inhale on the right, 
and then you exhale on the left okay simple here okay so rest the fingers close the right with the thumb and we start inhaling on the left close exhaling on the right inhaling on the right close the right with the thumb exhaling on the left that is one round so the start on the left and end on the left is one round okay so you can do as many as you like we're gonna do three more you can close your eyes if you wanted to focus really on your body and your breath and let's go inhale exhale inhale exhale and continue When you have completed your rounds, relax your hands and keep your eyes closed and just become aware of your natural breath. So there's no effort, you're not doing anything, you're only breathing through the nostrils, the mouth is closed and just feel the effect of the asanas and the breath work on your body and your mind. And take a deliberate long deep breath through your nostrils and deliberately sigh out through the mouth and again And softly blink open your eyes very good now you can do more rounds we just did three or four but feel free to do more of course if you have sinus problems and it's blocked then rather wait till your sinuses has cleared up and don't go away the tip of the day is coming up and I'm going to show you something that's a little bit more difficult, but was great for your nervous system. Okay, tip of the day. Um, I'm, you have to, there's a pose uh, which is really, really difficult. Not a lot of people can do it. But what happens is it works on your nervous system, which runs above on your rib cage and your lungs so what happens when we stress and anxiety is uh, we start breathing very shallow and we start to um, want to hide you want to hide and make yourself small so we tense up on the chest area okay so the bow pose is brilliant for opening and stimulating and calming your nervous system but not a lot of people can do that uh, so you lie on your tummy you get hold of your feet but a lot of people can't reach their feet now I have another thing I'm gonna get it but you need something soft and big like this we have a gym ball you get them in different sizes so get the one that's according to your size and we're gonna open the chest it's really simple if you're not familiar with a gym ball it might feel a bit strange but what you do is you sit on it make sure your feet is flat on the ground especially if this is the first time for you this is gonna feel really weird okay so don't be scared you have full control when your feet are firmly planted okay bum on the one side and all you do is you slide 
and bring the knees over the feet so the feet are over there and then the knees move keep your feet planted on the floor use your core so you don't fall off if you're really really scared you can go next to the wall and hold on to the wall and or you can help ask your partner to hold you and you come onto the ball you can stay here if you want to you can see the chest is open the uh, spine is relaxed and if you can you can add your arms and you can get hold of the floor depends on how big your ball is and you can play you can just relax and go on the feet and on the hands or you can just stay still and you can relax here let the arms totally fall open let the chest open up and stay here so this is an inversion so all your head is lower than your heart so if you have high blood pressure take it easy it stretches into the tummy it opens you up in the front it's a very powerful stance as well and you can stay here for as long as you feel needed when you're done if your arms are down first bring the arms up if you stay like that for quite some time please take your time coming up because all the blood is in your head okay and then slowly bring the head up and then the rest take your time and then maybe you want to sit on the ball for a few seconds before you get up okay and when you feel you are ready then you come off the ball so that is brilliant for opening your chest to make it easier to breathe relaxes you um, if you don't have a ball I don't know maybe you can just if this is too high for you just take a pile blankets or pillows and stack them up and you know put your chest over it open your chest anything you can find as long as it's soft and comfy it must be relaxing this is maybe a bit strong for some of you so maybe a couple of pillows or blankets okay so um, the other thing I want to tell you is how beneficial exercise is for your mental health meditation of course yes but so as well moving your body and you don't have to do in uh, so, um, what's the right word not severe um, um, strong strong exercise walking uh, if you can't run walking or swimming uh, dancing anything anything yoga of course is great because yoga also stimulates the nervous system but anything to move your body for if you can for an hour every day every day move your body it will help you with your mental issues or I don't want to call it issues it sounds so rude with your uh, mental health is also a weird way but with your mental uh, health <laughs> so let's try and turn our mental health into mental wealth thank you for watching and if you have a comment please feel free if there's a need that you uh, for a certain exercise please let me know in the comment section and if you enjoyed this please don't forget to hit the like button and arion tatsat